the assembly line was not invented by Henry Ford. Right. It was it was invented really by a guy named Ransom Olds, right? He invented a static assembly line that turned a 15-hour process into about a five-hour process. I'll get the numbers wrong on that, but that's 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 huge innovation right there, right? But then this guy, Bill Clan, I think his name is, PA Clan, goes to a slaughterhouse for some reason. Why do you go visit that? I don't know. But he sees a cow being disassembled from one end of the factory to the other. And it comes into his mind because he's an engineer. Why don't we do this reverse? Instead of disassembling something, we'll assemble something. Tells his manager at Ford, who abruptly turns him down because he has no vision. But he yeah. says, I'll give you 10 minutes or 20 minutes with Mr. Ford. Goes and talks to the guy. Ford, like a Steve Jobs or uh, Elon Musk, is a visionary. He sees this immediately. Get R&D. Let's get this going. So he turns a three or four or five hour process from Ransom Olds into one car coming off the assembly line every like 30 seconds or, or for one minute. It, it was a, an enormous leap. And if you got a, you know, at the turn of the century, there were over a hundred car manufacturers just in the US. Yep. Within 15 years, they were all gone. But if they didn't adopt what Henry Ford was doing, they were done. So, you know, you've got your Chevrolets, you've got your GM or whatever that, that were back then and Olds, Oldsmobile, that's where Ransom comes from. But uh, it, it, so that seems obvious to me that when you see something like that, that type of innovation, that's changing the world. And this is what we're going through right this moment. And, and we just, see it. In this, and then this is a really there are two points I want to follow up on that, which you, you got me. Number one. Contemporaries our, our contemporaries can't tell you that story. Right. They don't know the background of that story. There's, a, a, you know, one 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 thousandth of one percent probably of the population could tell you that story, maybe even less. But everyone can tell you Henry Ford, anybody in the West can tell you that Ford is the one who proved that the assembly line could change manufacturing, that Ford was the one who proved it out in the market itself. And so we remember Ford, we don't remember the, the other players in the story. Um, and we're at, and the second piece is this, what we're seeing today is, is happening right now. You, you know, they're, believe it or not, probably 50% of the people out there are Tesla haters or, you know, they're like, hey, Tesla, you know, I don't understand. Maybe it's, maybe it's 50%. I'll, I'll bet it is probably 50%. We could probably go do some kind of study on, on, te on Twitter, on hashtags and stuff and maybe reverse and, you know, extrapolate it. But Tesla is doing the same thing. Every auto manufacturer realizes if they don't try and, and copy what Tesla is doing, which is Tesla, Tesla makes cars that are data driven that get better after you buy them. That's, I mean, at the end of the day, if we, if we go ahead and just submit, summarize it there, all the other stuff, you know, you buy the car without going to a dealer, you have it delivered to you, uh, the app, all, all that stuff is just ancillary. What Tesla actually does is two things. Number one, they built a data-driven factory called the Gigafactory, and it can manufacture anything. They just happen to be manufacturing cars in there right now. What matters is that it's a fully integrated, data-driven, real-time, data-driven, full-stack Gigafactory that can manufacture anything. It's the model for all future manufacturing, which will convert into contract manufacturing. So that is, I'm just gonna be a manufacturer who does contract manufacturing, and I, my manufacturing facilities, very few of them will be specialized to individual products, right? Number two, um, Tesla makes happens to just make cars in those factories right now. But believe me, Tesla has some major announcements coming, and all that stuff's going to be manufactured in Giga, right, in the Giga factories. Everybody is copying Tesla right now. I mean, Tesla's not copying Volkswagen. Volkswagen is copying Tesla. <laughs> Tesla's not copying Ford. Ford is, is copying Tesla. My argument is, is that Volkswagen is doing it right. Vo Volkswagen, they're going to make it. I mean, they're, they're one, if you look at our distribution, if you look at our distribution of companies, Volkswagen is in our data set, 1,300, or it's about 1,400 companies now. Volkswagen's one of the top 10 companies in the world on the digital maturity scale. They're one of the top 10 companies. Tesla's number one with the highest score in the sample set uh, of an 88 out of 100. And Volkswagen's right behind them within the top five. 
Ford is like in the bottom third. <laughs> but if you were to go talk to Jim Farley, if you were to go ask Jim Farley, where he, he's the CEO of Ford, if you ask Jim Farley, hey, Jim Farley, where is Ford right now in digital maturity? I guarantee you he's going to tell you they're in the top third of all. And if you ask Mary Barra, she's going to tell you GM's leading yeah. the way. And they couldn't possibly yeah. be more wrong. I mean, they couldn't possibly, both of them couldn't possibly be more wrong. And they have no idea. They're totally oblivious. And that's what I'm, That that's my point, is that the um, Ford and General Motors think they are leaders. And they are not. They are companies that are surviving on previous on the on the gains previous leaders gave them, and they are going to get right. dimi- they're going to see diminishing diminishing returns without government intervention. Without government intervention, Ford is probably much much smaller of an organization as they are right now, and GM doesn't even exist. Think about that. Think about that. <laughs> well, it didn't happen. Not too long ago, that exact thing happened. Yeah. Uh, except for Ford, they didn't didn't take the the, the only the one. Out, but it, the only yeah. one, right? All right, hey gang. As a quick reminder, if you want to sign up for our MES boot camp, which is starting in September and running through the end of November, where we're going to teach you how to build your own manufacturing execution system with core capabilities, go to iiot.university or click on the link up here, uh, and I'll see you guys in the very first session.